U.S. Air Force has secretly designed and built a very sophisticated new fighter jet with new technology that had not been thought of before. This puzzle is starting to be revealed to the public as per the news released by Defense News. The sixth generation fighter aircraft of the U.S. Air Force has a digital system that uses a connected air warfare system that can include fighters, drones, and other network platforms in space or outer space. However, there has been no official explanation from the U.S. Air Force whether NGAD is unmanned or optionally manned. The sixth generation fighter jet program from the U.S. Air Force is named NGAD Next Generation Air Dominance which will be truly magical and will be the newest challenger to the F-15EX and F-35. The Next Generation Air Dominance program is not just about creating a new fighter jet to replace the F-22 Raptor and F-35. But this will be a significant leap in terms of how fighter jets are conceptualized with air combat capabilities and high technological innovation. The NGAD program is the application of digital materials management to simplify the design, manufacture, and maintenance of aircraft to avoid the high maintenance costs of fighter jets. The United States Air Force released a confidential solicitation for an engineering development and manufacturing contract for NGAD in 2023, and it is hoped the program will have a winner by 2024. The competition will likely involve top fighter jet manufacturers such as Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman. In particular, the NGAD propulsion system will be the first digitally designed military propulsion system, with companies such as GE Aerospace and Pratt and & Whitney playing an important role. The NGAD program will also be integrated with the development of Collaborative Combat Aircraft Drones, or CCA, which are made separately from fighter aircraft to increase the operational capabilities and effectiveness of manned fighter aircraft. Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall said the new 6th generation manned stealth fighter will likely control as many as 5 drones at once from the cockpit. The NGAD program leverages advances in systems engineering and model-based digitalization, facilitating more integrated and efficient collaboration between designers and government contractors. This approach contrasts with traditional methods, where designs are transferred through an iterative, paper-based process. Today, ever-evolving digital designs enable rapid adaptation and evolution to meet future threats. The NGAD program represented a significant leap in military aviation technology and strategy, much more than just introducing a new aircraft. The goal is key to ensuring that the United States Air Force continues to be the best in the world. The success of this program will not only add glory to future United States air combat. This also has the potential to create a new standard in military combat innovation globally, and this is important evidence regarding the technological landscape and modern military strategy that The NGAD program is an effort to maintain its superiority against advances in Chinese fighter jet technology. Therefore, the Air Force plans to spend $2.3 billion on the program in fiscal year 2024 and an additional $595 million to continue development of the new fighter's engines. Until now, there is no definite timetable for the delivery of this fighter aircraft, but we can probably expect accelerated development of the new aircraft. One of the demonstrator aircraft of which has already flown into space.
the Air Force will likely build several manned variants of its sixth generation next air domination stealth fighter jet and a small family of wingman type support drones as a leading but largely secret aircraft program. The drones serve to test enemy air defenses, blanket high-risk areas with forward surveillance and deliver weapons, controlled and manned fighters. Described as a family of systems, NGAD will consist of a manned stealth combat platform and a small number of operational multi-mission drones called the Collaborative Combat Aircraft. This will expand the NGAD's combat functionality by controlling multiple drones. The NGAD program will adapt and develop in the coming years depending on evolving needs and changing threats in contrast to the capabilities of manned fighter aircraft such as the fifth generation. Stealth fighter which only relies on speed, stealth, maneuverability, and lethal weapons. Kendall said that the manned variant of the NGAD would likely control as many as five drones at once. This would be a new tactic, expanding the scope of the stealth fighter's operational mission. Allowing weapons and surveillance points to be dispersed for increased strike and reconnaissance options. Many details and precise configurations of this small family of manned and unmanned platforms are not available for reasons of security still rapidly evolving or both. Unmanned systems built to support sixth generation manned aircraft are more likely to emerge in the near future than operational manned variants. Of course, the requirements for the unmanned system, called the collaborative combat aircraft, are still changing. The drone is built according to key operational needs. The U.S. Air Force needs aircraft that can carry out operations in restricted airspace and have the ability to maneuver in enemy territory. Unmanned platforms have been successful for decades and are expected to be able to operate in restricted airspace. Drones, or CCAs, will come in a variety of sizes and operate as surveillance nodes as well as attack drones that carry out offensive missions and fire weapons. This should be able to assist the mission of the NGAD system, and it will involve the weapons carrying capacity to work with the piloted aircraft. While manned GADs are expected to be ready for operation around the end of the decade, CCAs will probably be ready soon. The prospect of networked CCAs working in close coordination with manned host aircraft introduces new tactical possibilities. In large part because they will be connected to each other as well as to the manned aircraft performing command and control. Controlling drones from the air will simplify time-sensitive data and massively shorten sensor-to-shooter time. Weaponized drones, for example, 
can autonomously identify targets using onboard computer processing and enable decision makers to locate and destroy enemy targets from a safe distance. Advanced algorithms and AI-enabled data processing can analyze a number of mission variables from disparate or separate incoming sensor information streams. What differentiates the generation of fighter aircraft, in general, is the speed, weapons, sensors, and other new features that are part of the overall composition of an aircraft. Using jets, fighters with this method of propulsion have gone from straight-wing aircraft flying at high speeds below the sound barrier, with guns, guided rockets, and bombs, to sensor-rich stealth jets capable of carrying a wide variety of weapons anti-air and anti-ground missiles f-22 generation fighters will be stealthier more efficient linked to other vehicles equipped with better sensors possibly change shape in flight use laser weapons and even be crew optional next generation air dominance aircraft but also the f-35 and f-22 which have been widely accepted as the definitive fifth generation fighters Stealth Fighter Jet is a set of technologies, from an aircraft's coating to its shape, that make it difficult to detect, especially with radar. Sensor Fusion combines information from an aircraft's sensors, such as targeting cameras and radar, as well as other avionics, to create a more complete picture of the environment around the aircraft. Supercruise is flight at speeds above supersonic for a long time without having to dump extra fuel into the engines, which is the old way to achieve supersonic explosion. When announcing its next generation air dominance application, the Air Force did not call it a fighter, but a platform. Because NGAD has a role as a fighter. This aircraft is expected to replace the F-22, which is a fighter aircraft built for air superiority or winning battles against other fighter aircraft. The platform is called because the Air Force wants a broader role than just a fighter aircraft.
One way to think about this is that NGADs will be one of several types of aircraft the Air Force will use in the future, much as the Air Force might currently use fighter wings. This could include fighting alongside the Collaborative Combat Aircraft CCA, a combat drone the Air Force is planning as part of its next generation operating model. What's interesting about the next generation of CCAs is that they will have greater autonomy than UAVs currently in the Air Force such as the MQ-9 Reaper. The Air Force is starting by having manned combat aircraft, whether NGAD or others, can provide input and of course oversee CCA operations. Incorporating other aircraft, especially more expendable autonomous aircraft, into fighter wing operations could mitigate one of the biggest threats to today's fighters. Namely that they are expensive and difficult to replace. Adding an extra layer of unmanned aircraft, which can fly closer and take greater risks, could ensure that the 6th generation fighter behind the drone escort can still fight another day. Ultimately, what defines the next generation air dominance platform, or sixth generation fighter aircraft, is that it is designed to confront and defeat threats that have emerged since the previous generation of fighter jets, while also doing the job. Fighter jets that ensure the Air Force can put weapons where it wants them. The U.S. Air Force has officially started the competition for the top secret next generation air dominance fighter jet. 